Let's see if we can cross over this way. That is a neat view, man. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, guys. Welcome back. Um, we just got the message that our base is under attack. So let's see what happens here. Um, someone's shooting an arrow from somewhere. like right at the door I don't know if we tagged him or not trying to get a headshot off on him how did that miss I don't know. All right, let's get this out. Just wait a second and see if anyone else comes. I might have been hitting the top of this. I don't know. It looked like I hit him right in the head. He doesn't even have a helmet on either. Is that it? I guess so. All right. Well, our first base attack has happened. And we survived it. I kind of I used up more of my rifle ammo than I wanted to. But it's, it's possible that I was hit, hitting the top of this because he was right at the, the top up there. But um, that, that turned out to be pretty good. Okay, so... Uh, let's see, I have my mass tank up here now, and so, yeah, we got that done. And we're running the, the Jenny to get some more electricity. I made a, a lock pick there. Uh, this is working on ores, uh, iron in particular, right at the moment. And, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. I want to make um, a health kit. Uh, so we got uh, some, some extra medicinal tonics from one of those hunters, I think. Uh, so we just need a one of these and one of these and let's make our first health kit so that's an that's a good thing to have uh, for sure uh, but we're, we're actually in really good shape right now oh by the way we did get our extra point uh, cap point and stamina too off camera so yeah things are looking good and uh, we're gonna go back out and do the usual here after we put this stuff away and I've just been making uh, some extra arrows and then that that medical kit and yeah, so let's go out and look for, I'm going to put those boards in there. Uh, look for another locked crate today and see what kind of mischief we can get ourselves into. Uh, oh, I do have some more rifle rounds there. So let's get those back in. That only gives us three. Um, but actually, we might be able to make one or two more of those also. Let's see. Yeah, one more round. Okay, so that'll get us at least four in the gun. We'll put those things back. Uh, I think we'll keep our health kit down on the toolbar here. Oh, I need to make another pick. That's right. Uh, all right, so what do we need to do that? Pick, 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 pick. Four, four, and two. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, so we'll get that made up. Uh, let's put these bullets in here. And uh, we're just going to let this run and let the Jenny run. How much mass do we have? 85. So we, we actually need to build up 120 for this. So what I think I'm going to actually do is... 
We need 18 to make a lock pick. Yeah, let's let's actually turn that off for now. I'm gonna top this guy off. And let's turn you back on uh, so we can get 120 mass built up. And then we can make the workbench. All right, so we'll put that away. We, we need some water too. We're not in too terribly bad of shape with water. Um, let's eat a protein bar. Oh shit, I didn't want to eat all three of those, damn it. All right, well, our protein is in great shape now. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Uh, okay. And one blueberry, yeah, one blueberry gets us pretty much all the way up. So we're going to maybe be a little bit thirsty before we get back, but I'm not too worried about that. I think we're going to be fine. All right. Okay, let's go out and about. Oh, I was going to, hold on a second. He did throw a grenade at our base. I don't know where it hit. So we should check uh, that. I don't know what else, what all we need for repairs. I think it's just logs and nails. All right, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. That's just barely damaged. Um, did he throw it up high maybe? It's really kind of hard to see up high. All right, let's check our stairs. I'm sure there's nothing out here waiting for us. All right, yeah, the stairs got... I think those stairs were already damaged, though, so I'm going to say the grenade he threw didn't actually come into contact with our base at all because nothing's damaged here. I'm feeling pretty good about our setup. Feeling pretty good about our setup. We probably better close that off, too. Um, all right, so let's put all this back in here. Uh, we don't want to take the hammer out with us. All right, let's go. So we are now, once again, looking for a locked crate among every, everything else that we're always looking for. So let's do this. We're going to go to the south and then west this time. Just have to keep our eyes peeled for mountain lions while we're up here. Crap. Alright. I don't know exactly where that's coming from, but oh, it's right. Uh, right down the, the way there. Can we sneaky sneak and grab this? back right on up again okay I think we're good saw a wolf up that way yeah should probably start killing a couple more wolves just because I want to keep the biofuel going you know plus it's good uh, food and all that too I missed him because he jumped up and down. All right. Yeah. That could have gone better, but it is what it is. Okay, we got a little bit of fat out of that. Uh, are we completely out of pistol ammo? Yep, we sure are. Okay. How much does this heal for? 50% gives a 50% health boost. Oh. Does that mean more health cap? I don't know what that means. You know what though? Let's just let's use it. Okay, yeah, no, that just heals us. The way that reads it sounds more like it gives you more health cap, but maybe not. Or apparently not. There's a plant here. Seems really dangerous coming up through this little draw there.
Okay, let's come up through here. I want to go over by the the creek here to wash up. And uh, seems like I've see um, I've seen lock chests fairly frequently in this area too. Nothing through there. There's a chest. Medical items. And a chicken right down by the river. We missed him. He didn't even know that we shot at him. Um, I think that made the sound of the arrow breaking. Yeah, I don't see it there. Okay, there's a build chest down by a bear. Oh, there's a bear right there too, okay. And there's a friggin' wolf down here. Son of a gun. Okay. Oh, he saw us. How many arrows do I have? 17. Oh, yeah. We made lots of arrows. Okay, let's check this crate here. Good stuff. There's a carrot, I think. Uh, let's turn that into... Oh. No, that was an onion, right? Yeah. We'll turn that into seed. So I discovered that some things you can turn into seed, like onions and carrots and whatnot, and other things like blueberries, you can't. So the blueberries we just straight up eat. But anything that I can turn into seed, I'm going to try and start doing that on a regular basis. Uh, we also have to figure out, there's a mountain lion, we have to figure out what we're going to do about our garden, because we can't really put a garden inside a cave, because the plants require light. So that means, yeah, we're going to have to have, a, I guess, a different structure uh, close by, maybe, to do that. I don't know if it has to be directly attached to your base either or not, so that's another consideration. And if that is the case, then, you know, that's a pretty strong argument for the cave not being an ideal place to build. Uh, what level are you? You're at level three. Okay, you get to live. And I get to live. More importantly, I get to live. All right, let's just kind of keep going along the base of the mountain here. Two chickens right in front of us. We'll get a little closer to this one. Too bad there wasn't wild turkeys in this game. That'd be cool. Yeah, we're going to eat fine tonight. Okay, let's keep looking around. And there's a mountain lion down in the river and a bear that direction. I imagine if we kept going up this way we'd probably run into the fence. I don't think it goes up and beyond. It's not cold up here. It's 18 degrees. Let's just do let's just see how far we can go for the hell of it. But my guess is we're gonna run into a fence here. 
Unless you really can cross it over to the other side. That would be kind of cool. But it's starting to look like just no man's land up here. You'd think I'd be... Ah, oh, there's the fence right there. You'd think I'd be freezing my nads off right now. But it's still 16 degrees. Okay. So let's um, continue to work our way back around the side of this basin. And uh, hopefully we'll come across the locked chest today. An ammo crate. All right, we had another another round for our rifle. That's good, and we still haven't gotten anything back for our pistol yet. But we keep looking. Nice thing about being up here is, you know, there isn't really any foliage in the way, so you can really see quite well. Alright, there's a bear down there. We got some scrap metal up this way and another crate, I guess. I'm not sure what to call these things. This isn't really a crate. It's more like a duffel bag, but... The building one is a crate, but those are more like bags, but I guess we can just call them crates. It's easier that way, you know? All right, let's stop here for a second and just uh, try and craft a few things. We'll get some cordage made up. Uh, looks like I, I'm not gathering wood at the moment. I know I can, but here's the thing. The more time I spend chopping trees when I'm far away from the base, the less ground I'm covering looking for crates. So it seems to me like it makes better sense to chop trees close to the base, you know, like at night or in the evening. And when you're out and about looking for crates and stuff, you should maximize your time doing that. That's the way I see it anyway. There's a wolf down there. We got a chicken up here skylining himself. We'll avoid that wolf and just kind of keep going along this way. And the other nice thing about being up high like this is you have a a good view to look for look for crates okay so we're at the fence and there is a level one wolf and a crate I think we want that crate so we're gonna have to shotgun this wolf We need more animal fat anyway. And a couple steaks would be nice. Or liver. We'll take that too. Okay. Can I make another shotgun? Nope. I always like to have five in the gun, but can't always get what you want, right? All right, let's look at the map. Oh, wow, we are like way down south. So we kind of started out here and we basically followed the mountain range all along this way. Interesting. Okay. What? Uh, how's the sun? Yeah, it's getting to be mid-afternoon, so we should probably start thinking about heading back. Or at least moving in the direction of our base. And, of course, there's a bear guarding a crate. Oh, that one just popped into bean. All right, let's duck down. Back up from this guy. That give us enough to make a shoddy shell? Nope, we need a little more gunpowder. Alright, 
There's a building crate down there. Let's go around this way. I don't want to risk a broken leg. Because nobody needs that. Nobody needs that. So this is a true crate here. That's what I would call a crate. Uh, okay, so we have 8 of 15. Alright. We want to avoid Mr. Barr. And that Mr. Barr. So let's go kind of thread the needle this way. And actually, we're probably just going to make a beeline back towards the base at this point. Uh, because it is getting on in the day, so... Get some iron here. Oh, I guess that was potassium. They're kind of hard to tell apart. Alright, here we got a crate here. More ammunition. Okay. Another chicken. Man, this is the day for chickens. It's good. We get lots of feathers. There's some ore. That, I think, is iron. You should have made the iron ore, like, brown. Of course, then maybe it would be hard to tell apart from copper. All the animals around. That's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. chicken go it's right there oh shit all right let's leave that chicken be and skeet addle There's a place way up north uh, that I, I want to go to at some point during this series that has an even bigger cave in it than what I'm living in. Uh, I found it on the multiplayer server. It's pretty cool. That's a bunny. Let's get him. I got it, you stupid eagle. He tried to get my rabbit, but I got it. Got to him before he did. All right, let's grab this grub tree. There's our pond. And uh, there were some rogues camped out uh, along the shore. I think somewhere over in here. Yeah. All right. We're pretty close to home. Let's go run back up here again uh, by the stream and just take another look. Or a potential locked crate. Or whatever else we can find. There's some bees over here. Yeah, they're right there. We have to make insect repellent before we can do anything with those. Alright, here's an ammo crate. Okay, we got a couple rounds for our pistol. I 
think that's a mountain lion way off that way. Let's just kind of go peek over in this direction. Oh, that just appeared out of nowhere. Let's see if we can cross over this way. That is a neat view, man. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right. Where'd you go, you little rascal? take a peek up here real quick I know this is cougar territory so I won't keep this ready the thing I've noticed about the mountain lions though is you can generally hear them from pretty far away because they, you can hear their growl there's it another chicken really okay that made a bro break the arrow sound all right anyway let's let's go i just want to pop my head up here take a look oh it's real pretty up here got a crate too it is five degrees now so you know with the sun going down definitely getting colder Be kind of neat to just go right up through this draw here. It's just a little bit late in the day for that, though. I think this is iron. Yep. Okay. We'll hit the grub tree. Uh, there's a wolf there. It's level one. Okay, let's go up around this way to avoid him. Because it is getting dark. I think that's a wolf, or not a wolf, but a, uh, a, uh, moose just ran by us. Oh, shit. Why does there have to be a wolf right by our place? All right, let's go around this way. Here, I'll, I'll get this down here, too, so we can see what we're doing. Sort of. Yeah, we might as well grab this copper. It's a cold night. It's four degrees. Oh man, we're out of space. Okay, let's turn these into seeds. Oh shit, we can't even do that. Um, all right, uh, let's eat all of these and pick our seeds back up. Um, let's eat the strawberries and pick the ore back up. Um, oh shit, we can't even butcher those. Oh, wait, we should be able to pick that up. Okay. Yeah, let's butcher these guys. Um, they were the earlier birds that we caught. And that's going to free us up some space. And then we should be able to, yeah, we're getting cold. Grab this. And let's 
grab this zinc. Nice thing about our medium level clothing, though, is we can get the frost cold, you know. But, oh, man, we just lost... Oh, are you serious? There's a wolf on each side of us to get into our base? What the hell, game? All right. We might have to just make a run for it. Let's go back around this way. Yeah, let's just run on by. I made the wrong turn here. I can't see because it's so dark. Oh, my God. He just about made it in the door. All right, you go now. You go now. Whew. That was close. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <coughs> okay, let's get this stuff cooking up because um, some of it's already going bad on us. And, um, all right, so we got that going. And I want to make another antidote because we have this extra liver. So to do that, we need kelp. There we go. Now we have two antidotes. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I never. Oh shoot! I never got any hydration. Yeah. Well, we should be fine till morning. Then that's gonna have to be the very first thing that we do. Okay. How are we doing on? stuff so we have a thousand power and 165 mass so that's enough to build our crafting station which is great all right let's eat these and get those in the cooker and then the next chicken would be this one get that in the cooker start putting a few things in here we got 46 nails that's not too bad This stuff goes in here. Okay, we can render the fat in there. I wish we had a sort option. And we still have five more of those. In fact, why don't we make another medical kit? So we need one of those and one of those. There we go, beautiful. All right, let's grab all of those guys and cook up these last ones. Very good. I think we didn't find a, a locked chest today, but it was a good day overall, I think. Pretty good day overall. Um, I want to get some more iron going, so let's turn that on. And we'll put those ores in there. Keep checking that so they don't burn. All right, so what do we need to make a workbench? We need eight scrap, ten electricals, and ten boards. All right, let's just grab all of that. That stupid bear is still outside where a wolf or something is, but they can just stay out there. Screw it, man. I'm not messing with them right now. Okay, so the meat's all cooked. And so let's go ahead and make a workbench. Fan friggin' dastic. Okay. Now uh, we want to build our power back up. Let's turn that on and grab some more of this. We'll let the power build up a bit, and then I might um, also let, let the mass build back up too. Uh, or I might let it just build up to its normal level. All right, look at that, man. We got a workbench. Heck yeah. Uh, let's get this in here. Um, I'm going to eat another one of these. <coughs> and another one. 
I'm, oh, it won't let me. I'm just afraid that it's going to go bad on us, is, is all. Okay, we need some carbs, uh, so let's eat. I think one blueberry, blueberry would probably be good enough. Yep, okay. So we're in great shape on, on food and hydration, or I mean on food and carbs. We're a little bit low on hydration, but I think we'll be fine until we can go out in the morning and, and get more. Um, so we want this to just basically... Uh, make all these iron chips so we have enough to make another lockpick when the time comes. And now we have a workbench. So where do we want to put that? Uh, we, I, I'm going to patch that up now Now that I know how those guys were attacking before. Um, why don't we put the workbench... Uh, I guess we're just going to put it here for now. It's not necessarily going to stay here forever. Um, we can always move it later, but let's just put it there for now. All right. Cool, man. So we can make pots and pans. Use this on the oven to prepare various recipes. We can make a lever action rifle. What is that? Oh, weapon parts and metal ingots. Okay. A double barrel shotgun. Same thing. Premium arrows. We need premium feathers. I guess we have to get those from uh, Eagle... Eagle nests or something. Crystals. We can make gunpowder now from ash and potassium and ammo casings. Oh man, that seems kind of expensive. Huh. What's this? A jam jar. Okay. Glass panel. A battery. A recurve bow. Nice. So how do we get weapon parts? Climbing axes, grenade tipped arrow, hang glider, breaching charge, flashlight attachment. There's some cool stuff in here, man. Um, oh, and we can upgrade too. Nice. Uh, what would it take to upgrade this? We need those weapon parts. Ropes, ingots, and stuff. Yeah, okay. So, higher end stuff, but uh, it'll be cool when the time comes that we can actually do something with that. All right, let's top you off. Uh, we're going to put you down there. Oh, we don't have any bandages. Uh, we should make some bandages. So I know we need these, and what else do we need? Oh, just that. Okay, so we'll craft a bandage. I usually end up finding those in loot, so I don't want to make a bunch of them, but we should have at least one on us. Put our pick down there, and that can go back in there. All right, beautiful. Can we eat one of these now? Yep, and we'll get our protein back up. Okay, so um, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here, and then uh, in the next episode, we got to go out and get um, some some hydration going. I might even make a couple more canteens, just because you know, since we're not right next to the water, it'd be useful to have a few of these on hand. And they're not that expensive, so yeah, I'm gonna make um, let's say like maybe four of them. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna go get those filled up, get the water cooked up in them, and then um, you know just do the same thing, go out and about, and keep looking for resources, and go from there. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.